How's it going, guys? Uh, power's finally back. It's Thursday right now. Uh, yeah, so today we're gonna do soaps that come in a motherfucking bowl. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> I mean, that was the, the, the hashtag Ken had. So I don't really own any soaps in a bowl. I have this Parasso tub, it's a bowl, but no Parasso in it. I put a soap called uh, Institute Karite. It's like a French soap. Michael Friedberg did a video on it like two years ago. It's okay. Don't know, uh, but I'm not gonna use that. I also have another tub, Parasso. Not Parasso. This is a Sterling sample. Uh, margaritas in the Arctic. It smells very good, but I won't be using that either. Um, I'll be using Opuntia. This is technically a tub, it's aluminum. Not really sure. Fantastic scent. It's Creed Aventus scent uh, with their own little twist. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even like Creed Aventus till I got this. Stuff is good. Um, phenomenal scent, but we'll take it up a notch. I'm gonna take this out. And I'm gonna lather from a cereal bowl. And That'll be more like a bowl. Because <laughs> this is like a tin, it's not really a bowl. I don't know. I'm trying to make it interesting. Today I'll be using a synthetic, which I don't normally do because I'm a badger boy. This is the Omega Evo Synthetic in the stone color. Excellent brush. I think it's the best synthetic on the market. I haven't tried the Trafalgar T3, is it? From Simpson. It's like 25 bucks. This is 64. A lot more pricey. I like to look at this better. I don't know if it has the same knot or not, but I like to compare it to other knots and tell you why it's superior. So I have like five or six other synthetics, but I'll just compare these two. This is Yaki Omega. So look at the backbone. Much better backbone. This is floppy, man. Like most synthetics. All right, you want to compare Sterling? Sterling. Floppy more pushback. This also retains more water. So Chief, if you're watching this and you wanna give, you wanna like, I know you hate synthetics, give this a shot, man. Um, it's a little pricey, but I think it's worth a shot. I still prefer Badger, so take it as you will. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll soak it real quick. We'll get into the shave. So yeah, it's soaked. You can see how much water this thing retains, look. It's a lot. But, you know what, I especially wanted to use this because the directions for SV, Sapana Fichio Verasino, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, here we go. Can you read that? You can pause the video. Oh, it's written, I forgot, it's inverse. I'll read it for you. Established 1945 in a small town. This is not it. It's on the other side. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Contain active ingredients that in order to obtain the best performance, you need to solubilize it and or melt. The maximum performance can be obtained this way. Cover the soap surface with a thin veil of hot water for a few minutes. Soak a badger brush, rinse it well, and then pour the thin veil of water that bloomed the soap on the brush and then start loading for 20 to 30 seconds. Face or bowl lather without adding water. Yeah, we're not going to follow any of that, and I'm going to show you that you could get a damn good lather without that. We're going to load for a minute because it's a triple mint soap. All right, cool. So I'm using synthetic. Soap is spinning around. All right, here we go. I've done 30 seconds before, and it was fine, but whatever. This is so easy to dial in because it's uh, vegetal, vegetal soap that I don't mind loading extra. This video might go a little bit long, so we'll see. Yeah, we're not even close. <laughs> Let's see, is there enough? Uh, keep going. This soap is so good, man. Like, the performance really impressed me. The scent. Uh, Post shave is solid. I like it more than Nuevia that I just tried a couple days ago. 
it's awesome. 40 bucks, but it's 5.5 ounces, and since it's triple milled, it'll live forever. So, let's get into the damn shave. That's quoted by Tudor Shaving. I love that quote. He's like, let's get into the damn shave. So we're going to be applying the Ariana and Evans Slick Stick because pre-shaves are important. And this stuff is slick as hell. All right. This ladder's gonna explode in seconds. Told you. The only thing about uh, synthetics is they don't really retain as much water as Badger. Um, they don't retain heat as well. There is an advantage. They're a lot easier to maintain and clean. I got soap in my mouth. I can taste it. They're a lot easier to maintain and clean. They're cheaper. Um, yeah, so, I mean, they say a badger can last a lifetime, but a lot of the badgers we buy nowadays, they're treated. When you treat the end of the knot, the tips, they're nice, soft, and jelly retained water but you're literally damaging the, chi the the tips. And from what I can hear, they could fall out after only a few years if you use it every day. So not really comforting when you're spending a lot of money, but a lot of us still do it for the experience. And not all uh, two band badgers are expensive. So it's pretty much dialed in, dude. I could add more water, but do I need to at this point? Not really. And we loaded for a minute without blooming on a synthetic. So it's like saying screw you to, to SV. <laughs> Did not listen to One Direction, they said. All right, so today we're gonna be using the Black Lens Vector. So Chief could realize that he sold a razor he shouldn't have sold to DK, but I'm glad he got it because now DK can enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm gonna be using the same blade. Oh yeah, I got like a new razor, CJ. It's like a CJB. It's like a $25. It's like a feather knockoff. I wanted to see if it would shave just as well as a $120 razor, straight, whatever you want to call it. And new flat, uh, Spoiler alert, it does. <laughs> I actually kind of like it better because it's lighter. It's, yeah, so I'm literally gonna take the blade out of here. Sorry, I don't wanna slice my own finger. That would be embarrassing. There you go. This is a uh, Kai Captain Mild, and I'm so confident in this blade. It has many shaves on it. I'm so confident that it will still shave well. Sorry, I'm trying to load in front of the camera. It's not really working out. Okay. Let's see, there you go. There's the blade. And then you just put it through the two prongs. Like I said in one of my first videos, it's got that unique threading, that rectangular threading, because Shane's a genius. He's actually coming out with an open comb vector at the end of the month, but I don't think I'm getting it because this is already damn efficient, but so this will make up for the extra time I took for uh, lathering because it's got a wider head. Just glides. I'd say the only con is it uh, the lather channels like build up quickly because it's such a thin head, very maneuverable. You don't really have to pay attention to the blade angle as much with this. It's just cruise control, you know? Like the Game Changer, for example, that's a cruise control razor. The rock nail I used, you gotta pay attention. Yo, I just wanted to say uh, shout out to all the, like, uh, all the people that have been commenting and, you know, subscribing. You guys are real, real nice. Like Carlitos, DK, Chief, Ken, like I really appreciate you guys. You guys are really cool. And if, you know, if there's anything, like anyone 
thinks I should do better, you know, whatever, let me know. I don't really know what I'm doing, but having a good time, you know. And Doug, don't think I forgot about you. Uh, I'll be doing the froth method very soon. I wanted to get this lather in a bowl thing out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, man, this thing is just cruising. Super slick. Is it the slick stick or the soap? I'll let you guys think about that. On a serious note, that, that slick stick is awesome, especially on like certain soaps, it's more noticeable than others. It does add to the post shave as well. So, good stuff. All right, first pass done. All right. Yeah, man, I'm not, I used to use only synthetics when I was starting out for like months. My very first brush was a Art of Shaving Pure Badger. It was like an 18 millimeter piece of crap. Like, you know what, like it produces a good lather, but it's so scritchy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, price does not equate to how good a lather is on a brush. It just, I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> um, in a way it does, it makes it easier, I'll say that. But to say that you can't get a good lather on like a $10 brush is not true. I think that's more fair to say. So I stand corrected when I said, what I said like 30 seconds before that. But it seems to be well hydrated. Yeah, I mean, synthetics are just easy to work with, but um, for me, it was like, switching was more about the experience. Uh, like 95% of the time I use uh, badgers now. These bleeds literally last forever. Like, they're more expensive, but they just last. Only things I gotta rinse out more is the only comp. Super light, 80 grams weight. Balances around. Oops. Don't worry, it's fine. It's stainless steel. I just wanna see if I dinged it up. Don't try that at home. Should be fine. Yep. Yeah, but anyways, the weight balance is like right above the middle. So in case you were wondering. So you're probably wondering why I have all these Parasso tubs. I exclusively used Parasso, I wanna say like a year and a half. Like I don't know what artisan soaps were. Nothing wrong with that, it's just. And got to the point where I had so many. Artisan soaps, I was like, I don't need any more Parasso in my den. I'm just not going to go back to it. <laughs> going against the green is fun. Yeah, if you want to lather like Ken, just go like this. Ken shave three two six. <laughs> it's honestly relaxing, and if you're bow lathering, that's fine. It's just entertaining. One thing I noticed about a lot of these vegan bases. 
except for CK6, that's the exception, because it has like three butters or more. Um, they come out, these, these soaps are like, they're like thinner, they have less density, but the slickness is just top notch. Super easy to lather, they're all super easy. Um, yeah, so for someone that's conscious of certain ingredients about your, in your soap, like I know some people are lanolin sensitive, luckily I'm not. I have no idea if it says lanolin in it or not, but some vegan soaps or even some tallow soaps don't have lanolin in it. And um, yeah, by the way, that, um, that uh, Al Grooming uh, splash I used last video, that has liquid lanolin in it, very uncommon. The only other splash that has that on the market is a gentleman's nod. I, th I think I find that like super interesting. Liquid lanolin, that's like, that's the stuff right there. It's good stuff. Oh, here we go, Trump spots. This might be my favorite blade, this, or the Feather Professional Super. Um, for those who don't know, the blade makes a huge difference in single edge razors. It's like night and day difference. It really is. Different exposures, different sharpness, different brands. Um, on DEs, it's, there's a difference, but it's not as noticeable on these. These are like night and day. So if you think the razor is too, if you have a single edge, and you think it's too aggressive or mild, whichever it is, you can play with it, with the blade. If you use every blade, you could, and it's still not to your liking, then, then you might want to look elsewhere. But before that, you got to try the blades. All right, this is pretty good. I know I shave in the same direction on my face, like the second time, but I'm telling you, it does pick up hair. Like I can hear it. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good. I'm just doing cleanups right now. Pretty good. All right, we're gonna rinse real quick. Lancaster towel. Just kidding, I don't have Lancaster. This is the Amazon one. Um, Ken recommended. I actually like it. It does a pretty good job. Let's see. I don't know, maybe if I remember when you drop something again, I'll, I'll pick it up. If I remember. <laughs> I, the last drop, it was a couple weeks ago, I literally forgot. I did pick up Champs de Lavanda that day from Declaration. Immediately sold it. Scent was not for me. Can't win them all, right? All right, pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the same blade. Hopefully I don't drop this time. And we're gonna put that back in the, uh, uh, the street. Cool. Hope you guys are having a good day. We finally got power back today. Or last night, Wednesday night. But yeah. Let's see. I gotta find my alum stick. That's fine. Going dry today. A little bit of skin stretching. Oh yeah, Doug, I, I tried I tried practicing this left hand, left side, and like, I'm not comfortable at all, man. <laughs> Maybe another time, but not today.
working on like 18 hours of growth, something like that. Sorry if it's a little long. I wanted to do a little explanation in the beginning. We're almost done though. I've been having some heated debates with uh, Ken and uh, Ken and Shape Week Six and the Chief. Pretty interesting to hear what they have to say. Some some of it's about pre shave. Some of it's about bases. It's all interesting talk. So yeah, sold off the B6. You'll be seeing it on YouTube soon. Maybe, I don't know if he likes it. We'll see. For me, it was hyped. It was a hype not, I don't know. Everyone loves it. It's like the most respected. It's Jack's favorite before the Varlet, the Varlet, whatever. Um, I don't know, it didn't do it for me. I think I was expecting to be wowed. My expectation was this high. I got it and but that happens with everything, man. You expect, your expectations shoot up, you know? You know, when you anticipate something, the dopamine levels in your brain literally rise um, just from expecting something, you know? Like when you're about to eat, whatever. Cool. Or maybe just not, it wasn't that good, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, my, my opinion changes over time. For me, if it was a month ago and I was into uh, soap softness, that was the only thing that mattered, then yeah. Now it's kind of like, I like scrub and the knots, things like that. Ooh, that's close. Did you look at that? It's that top part right there, just, just now. <laughs> Need a little bit, a little bit of help though. Residual slickness is good, but it's... I'd clean up with the razor, the vector, but I already moved the blade here. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't feel as comfortable, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the angle all right guys pretty much done we are going to use the matching splash this stuff is pretty concentrated it's almost like a serum and a splash in one good stuff i haven't really looked at the ingredients for it there is alcohol in it but i don't really get too much of a burn um, both Chief and Jack used it in their video. I want to say special thanks to Jack for making a video on this scent and soap like a few weeks ago. I would have never bought it. Uh, like I just didn't really pay attention to it and it was just like, he was hyping it up a bit, but it did uh, reach my expectations. I'll say that. Zingari Bomb, essential. So I hate the restrictor on this thing, man. Like if I could show you this without it tipping over, probably not. It's like, it's like a piece of plastic and someone poked a hole. I just don't want it to spill. Someone poked a hole inside. Like this is like a $30 splash, man. <laughs> I don't know. Like I just put way too much. Wow. What is that? I tell you, man, I've tried executive, man from Sterling, and this is way better. That's my opinion, but it does have more pineapple in it. Yeah, maybe that's why. But yeah, yeah zero burn, burn. I don't know if that's because of the shave or just low alcohol content. But yeah, sorry about the little bit longer video, but we're good. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.